Hey guys, what's up? This is Mystical from acupofdeath.com bringing you another video tutorial. This video we're going to look at live streaming with the Hophog HD PVR2. This also works with the uh, first edition of the Hophog HD PVR. Uh, so if you have either version, this will work, but I am using the HD PVR2. Uh, so it might look a little different than yours. Okay, so I'm going to show you two different ways of live streaming using XSplit. Um, I already showed you a video using the Hopog Stream EZ software. Uh, however, if you've watched that video, then you uh, remember that I mentioned that there's a lot of limitations. You can't add webcams. Um, you can't add multiple audio sources, stuff like that. Um, so that is a huge downside to using that. The XSplit version that I'm using, it is the newest version, which now allows you to add the HotPod directly into XSplit before you had to screen capture in order to use it. Now you can actually add the device. However, there are still people having trouble with adding the device um, in terms of it uh, lagging out um, and the audio and video not staying synced. So I'm going to show you both ways of doing it. That way, in case one of them doesn't work for you, you'll be able to use the other option. So the first thing we need to do is open up the XSplit Broadcaster. And also, we want to go ahead and open up the ArcSoft Showbiz software. Um, since I'm going to show you both versions here, uh, we'll go ahead and start with the screen capture, as it is the easiest. Okay, so we have our XSplit Broadcaster up, and we have our capture device up which we're gonna hit capture here <clears throat> and that'll load up uh, this is like just like if you were gonna capture video on your hot pog uh, that's what we're doing here only we're not gonna actually hit the capture button so once it loads up here take just a second it'll look something like that so we'll drag it down here okay now what we're gonna want to do is we'll go to a new scene here since we're not a thing but um, I'm, you know, this video is assuming you already have everything set up. If you don't, I am working on a video that goes through how to set up XSplit and all the different options and stuff. But this is assuming you already have XSplit set up. If you don't, I will be uh, making a video response down below. It will appear within the next couple, probably by next week, because I'm probably going to release this one this week because I've had a ton of people asking. And I'll probably release the one going over all the options in XSplit next week. Um, so if you're watching this and you don't know how to use XSplit, watch for that video next week. Make sure you subscribe or something. Um, that way next week you can watch a video on how to use XSplit in all the different settings. So this video is assuming you do know how to use the XSplit software. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a new scene. And you want to go to the Add button. And we're going. you have all these different options. Okay, We want to go ahead and add Screen Region. Okay, Then you're going to have this. And what you can do is you can select right here what you want to add is the screen region so we're going to select what's in the preview window that's going to give you this an X split we're going to want to maximize it to full screen that way it's full screen on the thing and obviously the bigger you have this preview window the better it's going to look uh, so for example I have two different monitors for my recording um, for my streaming PC and what I do is I will have uh, X split off on the other monitor and then I will have this full screen like this that way, um, you know, I'm capturing a full screen instead of just a little section, and it gives you a better, uh, it looks better on the stream because instead of capturing, uh, you know, 787 by 439, which is basically almost 480, you know, you could be capturing full, you know, 720 or, you know, 1600 by 900 or 19, you know, 20 by 1080, depending on what your resolution of your monitor is running. Um, so it'll give you a better look. Uh, do realize that the bigger the screen region, the more strain it's going to put on your PC in terms of rendering it. Okay, so that's basically it um, in order to add the Hopog HD PVR to XSplit with a screen region. Um, so let's go ahead and remove that. Let's close out of ArcSoft. And now, like I said, that was the only way that you were able to do it before. However, they have added in that you can actually add, if you go under Add Camera, you can actually add the Hopog device directly to um, XSplit now, which is really nice because it gives you the thing, uh, you know, the full quality that you're receiving. The only problem is, is like I said, a lot of people are complaining that um, over time, as the longer that they're live streaming, the video and the audio um, goes out of sync. OK, so, you know, you, you'll have to listen for that. And if that's happening, you might have to stick with the screen region. 
I'm assuming that the reason this happens is that your PC is not able to keep up with all of the information coming in. Um, so I'm assuming this is a problem that, that people are seeing on older computer systems um, because I've, I know a lot of people have issues even just recording with the HotPog HD, especially the HD PVR2 with an older system because 1080p is a – most people think, you know, oh, 4, 480 to 720, that's a big jump. But then, you know, 720 to 1080, that's about the same jump. But actually, 720 to 1080p is a huge jump because of the amount of additional pixels that are being captured. And if you're running at the full bit rate, which is 14 megabytes per second, it can really put a strain on your system if you don't have a fast PC. I've not had any issues with capturing directly like this. Um, I actually prefer it than the screen region because you do get better quality. Um, but I am running an 8-core AMD FX processor with 16 gigabytes of memory, etc., etc. So I don't really have any issues running this software and stuff like that. Um, okay, so then one other thing I want to show you guys is going ahead and add your voice. So in order to, you know, this captures... Same as in your, when you record a video, this will capture the video and it will capture the sound coming from your Xbox. It will not capture your voice, so of course you have to add an audio device. And right now I'm using the microphone so you can hear that coming through. So we'll go ahead and mute it there. Oops, there we go. Go ahead and mute that like that. And, but that's how you add uh, – sorry, that was coming through the speakers. I wasn't expecting it to like that. Um, but that's how you add your voice. You just add whatever mic you're using, and that will add your voice. And then the nice thing about it is you can actually set up um, syncs so that you can uh, – let me show you here real quick. So if we add the audio device back. Um, if you remember, your HotPog has like a 3.5 second um, delay, um, just like when you're capturing on your TV and stuff. This will also happen on your stream. So what you can do is you can actually configure by going to the settings of your microphone. And, okay, why is it not coming up? <laughs> Hold on one second. It might be the... Oh, I'm sorry. It's under, that's right, under general settings. You can actually give your audio a delay. Um, so if it's, since it's 3.5 seconds behind, you do 3,500 milliseconds. And that would actually sync up the audio capture with everything that's going on on the screen. Um, and the nice thing is you can also do this with, let's add our uh, webcam here. Let's say you have a webcam up and you go into here. You can actually give the webcam a delay as well that way it equals up so you could give that 3500 so that's another nice feature that they added in the latest uh you know in the latest uh update to xsplit and stuff uh, so definitely check it out and it is nice like i said that you're now able to add all of the different things uh directly through xsplit and that you don't have to screen capture however some of you may still have to screen capture if your pro if your computer's just not up to handle and capturing with it or, or just doesn't work for whatever reason as I do know some people have had issues like I said with the audio and video getting out of sync I've not had these issues so it's hard for me to tell exactly what's causing it um, and like I said then to add your other stuff you just click here and you like I said you would add in your microphone for your voice being captured and if you want a webcam you can add in your webcam um, and then that will uh, get everything set up for you and as I said you'll just want to make sure because with you know, when you're capturing, when you're live streaming with a PC game, it's different than with a capture because you don't have that delay. Um, with any, as far as I know, I think there's a new one that just came out on the market that doesn't have this delay. But with any of the common um, video capture devices that are USB, you normally have about a 3 to a 3.5 second delay. The Hot Pocket HD PVR2 is a 3.5 second. So you'll want to make sure on your microphone and your webcam that you add a 3500 millisecond delay. But that's how you live stream with it. Um, like I said, if you don't know how to use XSplit Broadcaster, it's definitely the software that you wanna be using. Um, and I will show you in the next uh, video that we do, next tutorial, which would be next Tuesday, um, how to use XSplit and stuff like that. So definitely make sure you subscribe. Um, also like this video if it helped you out, um, help us grow. We appreciate it so much, all you guys' support. You guys are awesome. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys in the game.